Hey everyone, welcome to Up to Speed and happy Friday. As a quick refresh of the week, Tuesday we shared the story of Irene Durowin, who was able to grow her family and fulfill her passion of motherhood with Verizon's fertility services. And Wednesday we were live from the Leadership Forum where we heard Hans and Sam share updates on the business and our latest VZ Pulse Plus survey results. And Thursday we reminded all of you of the meaning behind the Purpose Coin, how to share it, and why it matters. And in case you missed it, on Monday, Sampath, current chief revenue officer, was named chief executive officer of Verizon Business Group effective July 1st. Sampath will succeed Tammy Irwin, who has served as Verizon Business CEO since 2019 and will now assume the role of strategic advisor to the CEO until the end of 2022. Let's hear more from Sampath on his thoughts about innovative leadership. One of the things we do is this concept of commander's intent, where back in the day, it was a very command and control model. The manager got up every morning, had his or her team in front and said, this is what I need to do today. Today, we're all sitting at home remotely, working different hours in a nursing crisis manner. So I think what's important is commander's intent. The commander has to be very clear what the mission is, what are your guardrails, and then let the team decide and do what's needed to make that mission successful. A huge congratulations to Sam Path on his new appointment and to Tammy for a tenure full of accomplishments and significant leadership. And speaking of milestones, we're celebrating the 10th anniversary of our Verizon Innovative Learning Program, as well as Verizon's $1 billion in contribu contribution supporting digital equity to help students and teachers hone digital skills. In addition, this fall, Verizon will add 50 Title I schools to Verizon Innovative Learning, which has reached more than 1.5 million students since its launch in 2012. Verizon also partnered with Time Magazine, which this week honored 10 educators for changing the landscape of education in America and demonstrating outstanding leadership. Overall, the 10 finalists of the Time Innovative Teachers Project have helped students with disabilities get placed in STEM careers, made unaccompanied minor immigrants feel welcome in the U.S., connected students around the world on video chat, planted microforests to teach ways to fight climate change, and designed video game lessons to teach anti-racism. And as always, Verizon Innovative Learning aligns with the company's larger Citizen Verizon Responsible Business Initiative to move the world forward through digital inclusion, climate protection, and human prosperity. Well, folks, that's all we have today, but there's a lot more in store next week, and you'll want to catch us on Monday. We'll be back here at 12 p.m. Eastern Time to talk all things Juneteenth and Father's Day. Enjoy your weekends, and until next time, you're up to speed.